Hello everyone, it's Flatbread Friday. I had some chicken thighs in my freezer and I had some arugula from the store. So today we're gonna make a, oh, and I had some gorgonzola kicking around in my freezer. So today we're going to do a chicken arugula and gorgonzola pizza. And it's gonna be good. And we're gonna reuse some ingredients that we have on hand. And now we gotta do it. So we're gonna start by cooking our chicken. So I have a pan over medium heat, some butter, some olive oil. And as soon as this gets bubbly and ready to fry, chicken thighs are going in. Our butter and oil is ready. And now in comes our chicken thighs. I'm not gonna need all of these, but I'm gonna cook them all anyway. And I'll use what's left over for something else. Come on, baby, I'm roll. Okay, in there, we're gonna season them up with some salt and pepper. Dried thyme. It has been so hot here that my thyme in my garden is failing, along with some of my other herbs. But we're going to sprinkle that. We're going to cook these down so they get a little brown. And in the meantime, we're going to make our fun base. I had some chicken gravy left over from when I made our chicken croquettes a little while back. And our base is going to be a modified version of chicken gravy. We're at medium heat, and this is gravy, so it's a little thin. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some cream cheese, and that'll thicken it up, cream it up. And when that is all cooked down and smooth, we're going to add some lemon juice. Now, the gravy is already seasoned, so that's why I'm not throwing additional seasonings in there. Our cream cheese is starting to melt in, and our sauce is getting warmed up. So I'm going to keep going with that, and it is now time to turn over our chicken. Flip these guys, put them on the side. Seared on the one side. We owe this side some seasonings. A little additional salt and pepper. So we take some the time again. Time for time. And we're going to cook these to 160 degrees or so because they're going back in the oven on our pizza. Our base is very smooth and I've turned off the heat and we're going to have to let this cool down so it's more spreadable. But before we do, we're going to juice it in, juice it up with a tablespoon or so of lemon juice. That will make it a little zesty. And you always want to wait until the end to add the lemon juice because it gets bitter if you cook it too much. So we're going to set this aside to cool and chicken might be ready. I'm going to take its temperature. All right, chicken thighs are ready. We're going to let them cool down and cut them into bite-sized pieces so we can put them in our pizza. And I'm leaving the oil and butter and chicken in the pan for some reason, and I'm about to show you. I'm going to manually scrape up some of these brown bits. And what we're going to do in a little while is going to bring out the rest of them. But the next thing that's going to happen is I've got some sliced up red onion. We're going in over medium low, a little less than medium low temperature. And we are going to make some balsamic caramelized onions to go with our other ingredients on our pizza. I'm not going to add any additional seasonings because there's quite a bit still left in this pan. And caramelized onions take a while because you got to go low and slow. So we're going to just coat these around and 
let them cook down for a bit. And then we're gonna add some other ingredients that make them balsamic caramelized. Six weeks crust is a poppin' fresh crust. Press it out to fit our parchment. Pull it and press it all the way around. And then once it's shaped, it's going into a 425 degree oven to get par-baked. We're gonna turn in the edges like we usually do and crimp them up to make a raised edge. And if you've seen any of my other pizza videos, then you've seen this already. All rolled in, now it's crimpy time. You just take your thumb and forefinger and about one inch increments, you just squeeze them together and that will make this guy stand up. We're gonna go all the way around. Our raised crust border is done. And now we're going in to the oven for about eight minutes. Our onions are pretty browned up and softened up. And now we're gonna balsamic them. I'm gonna turn the heat up just a little bit. Now here comes some balsamic vinegar. Sizzle, sizzle. Put a little bit of sweetness. We're going to add a little honey. Let that liquid reduce down a little bit. Stir them around. Smells so good. Chicken is now cool enough to handle, so we're gonna cut it into some nice bite-sized pieces. And it may look a little underdone. And it is, but like I say, it's going back in the oven, so we don't wanna, it'll be fully cooked by the time our pizza is done. thinking that'll be a good size and I gotta rescue those other ones. Our chicken's all cut up and this is two of the chicken thighs and our oven timer just went out off so let's see if our pizza is par cooked correctly. Beautiful, lightly browned, our edges have puffed up nicely and now we can get to work and compose this pizza and cook it up and serve it up and eat it up. The first thing that's going on is our creamy base, creamy lemony base. Spread that around, staying inside the border here. We're gonna keep going till we're fully covered. Next thing that's going on is our arugula. Arugula is peppery and green, and you know I like my greens under the cheese. Our arugula is down. And next comes some shredded mozzarella. Our mozzarella is down, and the next thing that's going on are our chicken pieces. Distribute those nice and evenly all over the place so every slice has a few pieces on it. Our chicken is on and evenly distributed. Next comes our balsamic onions. Zippy and tangy and sweet and beautifully browned. And I always forget how much onions disappear when you caramelize them. So I'm gonna have to work a little bit to spread these around, separate them up, and make sure we get full coverage. I was in my pantry getting the balsamic vinegar for the onions and I found these chopped up walnuts that were just kicking around in there. So walnuts go good with arugula and onions and blue cheese. So 
we're gonna give a little sprinkle, add some crunch, some nuttiness, some protein, and that will be nice. Our final ingredient is our gorgonzola cheese. I had this left over from another recipe that I made and I had put it in the freezer. I always put extra cheese in the freezer to make sure it doesn't go bad on me. And I can pull it out and use it again for something else, like this pizza. We're all ready to go in the oven. Chicken, walnuts, caramelized balsamic onions, and a nice crust and arugula, and it's gonna be great. Going in, we'll see what it looks like when it comes out. Our chicken, arugula, balsamic onion, and blue cheese pizza is out of the oven. It smells fantastic. And now we're gonna slice it up and see what it tastes like. Here's our chicken, arugula, balsamic onion, and blue cheese pizza on a little plate. I'm leaving out the walnuts in the name, but I'm adding them in. And I was wondering, I wasn't sure if, or how exactly, balsamic -y those onions are gonna be. And it turns out that they're not so much. So the way we're gonna finish this pizza is with a little bit more balsamic drizzle, just a little bit. A little extra color, a little extra zing. The main flavor, amazingly enough, is the blue cheese. So here's what we look like finalized and now we're going to take a bite. Thank you for joining me for this week's edition of Flatbread Friday and thank you for following me while I played with some my on-hand ingredients and made this really fun pizza and it came out tasty and it's all on-hand ingredients like I do a lot and it's going to be yummy so let's take a bite and see. Here's what we look like up close and now we're going to go in that was so yummy, and that was a really fun way to play today. Um, you all have a fabulous weekend, and we'll see you again soon.